longer here. Hello, everybody. Hello, 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 everybody, and welcome to the May first, second, third, four, five, six, eight, eleven, twelve, thirteenth, fifteenth, sixteenth. 19, 23, 24, 31. I don't know why my roses are so popular. And this session, maybe about the sales. Yes, it's hard to be an artist. This is not an art of techniques, materials, theory, something. This is uh, what I'm doing here, is the art mm. of pleasure. Mm. Do you see a glow of the paper because this is wet and if I add a pigment on top? This is watercolor. As soon as I add those centers of the roses, for example, this painting comes alive. If you take your time and discover roses, how it grows, the petals, think about how it grows through the, you know, unfolded bottom to the end when flower faded. I promise you will find something exciting and it will influence on your thoughts while you're painting, on your decisions. I love this dot and you know it creates some kind of like feeling that I was so free while painting it. This is why I wanted to make this event, just to share those moments and how free you can be with watercolor and not worry much about so many troubles and difficult difficulties make, which makes you worry so much about painting. They can feel the smell, peony have, have so amazing aroma, you know. They aren't in blue in Ontario yet. I think maybe in June, peony unfolded here. And look, this is beautiful as well. This palette turns into something. And let's add a water on top just for interest to see how water uh, works and what create just for experiment. You know, today is May, so let's use. May green or green gold, juicy yellow green color pigment. I can let it travel by turning the paper. And this is a hint for you to guess what it is. I jump into this painting, I feel the atmosphere. Hello everybody! Hello or welcome! Hello everybody! So I don't change anything, just took a new white piece of paper. So if you love animals, I recommend you to check out my course Creating Wow Effects in Watercolor where I showed how I paint this wonderful deer and this is the same pigment from uh, those paintings so as you can see I'm a huge fan of this tube very good example how to start to paint animals yes this is fantastic blog I will leave a link for you if you want this to try this wonderful options and paint from both sides and try to different surfaces of the paper and yes I like how it looks like so I'm ready to continue and I paint them a positive shape not negative because I love them it's such a pleasure to make those brush strokes and see those petals appears do you see these dots? And this is not a mistake because uh, this is a very first wash and I'm excited to see. I invite every single accident right now. I'm open for what happens here. Get excited about them and addicted as well as you. Hello everyone. 
Hello everyone. Hello everybody. Oh welcome. Oh welcome. This is a very good question. Fantastic. Wonderful. And that's it. I hope for wonderful mix start to appear here. Yes, this is very scary tutorial. You know something beautiful start to appear. Not funny at all. I make this ages ruffled, curvy and funny in a purpose. I like how this surface of a paper works for me. And then for this I'm gonna to use double effect later on top. But for now it looks like this. I want to add skies because this is so pleasure to add clouds in the sky. <laughs> Don't be serious here because you know. And I have another painting, and I don't want to rush. I already feel this romantic atmosphere and joy. And I have additional palette here. I like this green. Maybe it is too dark. I like how these greens make this composition more alive, and colors are so bright and vibrant. Oh, look, it's true magic happens in front of me. I'm so glad you are here with me, joining. So as you can see, there are uh, lots of inspiration and information how to start to paint animals. Invite this color from this section to flow naturally from upside down because I work at an angle if you watched my course watercolor treasure chest I talk about this and I like the shape of this unusual green leaf for this flower the second time I saw this bird was in Canada when I arrived in Canada it was cold winter then spring coming and then again I experienced a large box flying in the air and I even can't think that this was a hummingbird because of a cold, of a winter. People say my style is very intuitive. But actually I do have a guided lines formulas, numbers, mathematics to paint. Because I paint for a long time and I explore and find them. So everything I know I shared and show how I paint to my students in my virtual class. And you know, each time I paint, I continuously receive wonderful insights, ideas, discoveries. And now it looks like a butterfly, look! <laughs> I'm speechless right now, I can't breathe even. This is magical moment from the whole demonstration to see how your subject come alive, you know. Bye, bye, bye. Bye, 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 bye.